leak audio no, from I the detector on Young Golf Case. All I've ever done is passed on the information that she's told me about to the investigators, but she wanted us to do something which we already knew the answer to prior to her doing that. Because she said there was a couple of people inside the store and she thought they were involved, but they weren't. So. All right, but 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 uh, but Detective Martella, uh, she said that those two people ran out from the back of the cookie store. They ran inside of Family Dollar. She was scared. She walked in Family Dollar. They had guns on their waist. She also said that when she came out of the store and they came out of the store, they jumped in the SUV and, and ran off. And she's 100% sure that those are the killers. That's exactly what she told me. She's 100% sure. Okay, well, let, let, let me, okay, I will I'll tell you what, I'll tell you Okay. Hey, look, look, look. I'm listening. 
you did not see any of this. You're taking this woman's uh, information. I'm not so sure that her information is, is accurate. But we'll, we'll take care of that, okay? Okay, let me ask you one more question, sir. Now, she said that Maurice Hill, his black car was parked there the whole time, that he didn't just pull up, that his black car was parked there the whole time. Okay, and she also said that he was on the scene when the shots went off, that he was actually there. Why haven't y'all looked into Maurice Hill? Did y'all get the footage from the cookie shop? Because that will tell the story. Let, let, me, let me explain something to you. I'm not going to answer any questions about this investigation. And the information that she gave me has been passed on to the investigators who are working the case. Can I please speak I to... Uh, you know, I never told her that I was involved in the investigation. All I've ever done is passed on the information that she's told me about to the investigators, but she wanted us to do something which we already knew the answers to prior to her doing that. Because she said there was a couple of people inside the store and she thought they were involved, but they weren't. So, All right, but... But, 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 uh, but Detective Martella, uh, she said that those two people ran out from the back of the cookie store. They ran inside of Family Dollar. She was scared. She walked in Family Dollar. They had guns on their waist. She also said that when she came out of the store and they came out of the store, they jumped in the SUV and, and ran off. And she's 100% sure that those are the killers. That's exactly what she told me. She's 100% sure. Okay, well, let, let, let me, okay. I'll, I'll tell you what I don't want to get into any of the specifics. Never told me that they came running out the back of the cookie store and ran inside. What she told me was that she was sitting in the car. Her friend was inside. She said she couldn't see what happened because there was a car parked between where she was sitting and where the, the incident occurred. All she did was hear some shooting. She went inside the store and saw two guys inside the store, and she recognized that both of them had weapons. And then they left. Um, and then she said that there was a guy who was on TV that said that he works at that, or actually I think she said that he said he owned the cookie store and that he was there when it happened. I'm sorry that he wasn't there when it happened, but she said that he was, and that right after it happened, she saw him move his car. Okay? Yes, sir. 